Well, more than 500,000 acres of corn was flattened by the derecho. And according to the USDA, there were $563 million in federal insurance claims for crop damage. But corn was not the only crop damaged by the winds. KWWS Diego Hernandez spoke with an orchard owner and tells us where they are at one year later. He joins us live from Marion. Diego. Well, Allen's Orchard had just opened up for the season when the derecho swept through, causing a significant amount of damage to their apple trees. And if you take a look behind me, this entire section is made up of newly planted trees, but it does not paint an accurate picture of what the entire orchard looked like one year ago after the derecho. We knew that we were going to have a great deal of difficulty with some of our trees. This was the scene after the derecho left multiple sections of the orchard completely bare. Which was kind of, you know, like a heartbreak. Years of hard work for Allen's Orchard owner Chris Jensik, who's experienced straight line winds before, but not as strong as those the derecho brought. We are still finding damage that has existed um, that was kind of hidden until we hit the, the peak of the summer where trees are stressed the most. Um, so we'll have even more to replant next year. And these trees had apples on them ready to pick too. But after the derecho, about 90% of them ended up on the ground. And about 50% of our overall tree canopy uh, get pulled out of the ground, knocked over, broken, or just quite frankly gone. Um, you know, it was an absolute mess out here. Since then, the orchard replanted more than a thousand trees, but this summer's drought-like conditions have been difficult to work with. It's just very hard for a tree to stand when it's tippy anyway, and then the roots all dry out because the ground is so dry. Hoping for better weather and crossing their fingers to never have to endure another derecho again. If it happens, we will continue to rebuild. And the work isn't done yet. It takes about four to five years for an apple tree to produce a good quality fruit. So the road to recovery for Allen's Orchard will be a long one. Live in Marion, Diego Hernandez, New 7 KWWL. All right, Diego, thank you. Now the orchard's owner teamed up with a Minnesota orchard in order to sell apples last season. And Allen's Orchard is open on weekends through August and seven days a week beginning in September.